Okay, so here we are in Wii Video, and we're going to do Activity 8. First thing you're going to do is go to Text and make a title. And I know you're thinking, well, Mr. Pat, why do we make the title first? Because your title is going to say, A place I have always wanted to visit is... Then we can maybe make the text a little smaller here if I wanted to shrink that up a little bit. Now, here's the thing. You get to pick where this place is, uh, and it should be a place you've always wanted to visit. Uh, by place, uh, let's say I want to say grand, and I should probably capitalize those because it's a proper noun, Grand Canyon, or maybe the Grand Canyon. What do you think? The Grand Canyon. And I'm going to just highlight that. So, oops, so I don't have to type it later. Copy. And then if I say done here, there's my title. I could always move it around a little bit. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if we video has images and videos of the Grand Canyon. Because if it doesn't have still pictures, images, and videos of the place I always wanted to visit, I better pick another place. I'm going to go to images and I'm going to type in control V, the Grand Canyon. Couldn't find any results for the Grand Canyon. Hmm, that's going to make my job hard. Under videos, I wonder if it has any. The Grand Canyon. Ooh, all sorts of cool videos of the Grand Canyon. All sorts of panoramas and moving pictures of the Grand Canyon and the, uh, I think that's the, uh, the Snake River there. Uh, but look, uh, without the still pictures, what I would then have to do is import all of my uh, images from Google or something. It's just an extra step. So guess what? Grand Canyon, not a great choice. Um, let's go back instead of the Grand Canyon. Let's try Rome. Could be a city, could be a place, right? You could say, oh, you know, the Eiffel Tower. You could say, uh, you know, uh, the Grand Canyon, you could say a city like Rome. So let's see, I'm sure they have video of Rome. Oh, yeah, there's the Colosseum. There's Trevi Fountain. Right, so this is all good. Plenty of video of Rome. I wonder, and again, I just keep copying this because that way I don't have to type it. How about images? Let's cross our fingers and hope that there's some there. And enter. Hey, we've got pictures and videos of Rome. So that's a much better choice for my project. All right. Um, maybe you say six flags. Couldn't find any results for six flags. Videos. Six flags. Nada. Not a thing. Oh, no, uh, it's got some roller coasters. I don't know if that's necessarily Six Flags. Um, I could maybe fake my way. See, it's actually got a, a video of flags here instead of, <laughs> it might even be six of them uh, instead of the amusement park. So you got to be careful what you choose. I'm going to go back to Rome, okay? And it should give me all the stuff that I need, all right? So here I am in videos, and I don't want these to be too long. This one's 42 seconds. That's a little long. Uh, I'll take this one here. That's 11 seconds. Uh, I'll take this one here. That's 12 seconds. And, you know, you don't have to pick exactly the same ones as me. I thought I saw Trevi Fountain before. Oh, yeah, there. That's a little long, but I could cut it down. But if I wanted to, I could put my cursor here, split it, and backspace a bunch of it away. Uh, and then I want you to get basically four video clips, okay? Four clips because uh, that's what we really want. Here we go. There's the Roman Senate. So I've got video, 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 video. Now I'm going to go into images. Also type Rome. It would be nice if they were slightly different images. That's kind of cool. Sort of a cartoon-ish looking thing. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's the Sistine Chapel. And let's see, one more. Hmm. 
kind of running out of things in Rome. There, I love Italy. Why not? Okay, so now I've got four still images, four video images, and they're spread out right now. Make no mistake, I need to do a little bit of uh, messing around with this. But that's your first job, is to find a, uh, a subject such as Rome, which I'm putting in my title, and yours would probably say Activity 8 Rome or place I wanted to visit, something like that. We don't want our title to be too long in our thing. Um, and let's see, what else should we do here? I'm thinking we should add some facts about Rome. So I'm going to open up a Google tab here and type in Rome. Uh, let's see. Okay, Rome has over 2,800,000 residents. There we go. Third most populous city in the European Union. So if I come back here, so back here under text, second one down, captions. Let's see all the captions. I'm going to go with the simple one here, just this very first one. Bring it down here. And I can always move this guy around if it's kind of in the way. But I can say... Rome is home to over 2.8 million people. There we go. So that's a nice caption. And maybe grab another one over here. And what's another fact about Rome? What is Rome mostly known for? How about that? The Tiber River runs through Rome. It would be nice if I had a picture of the Tiber River, but what the heck. Rome is divided by the Tiber River. Or maybe Rome is on the banks because most cities were either by the ocean or a river. And again, I don't want to obscure my picture here. So I move my caption like that and say done. So now I've got my title at the beginning. Move this guy all the way over. A place I've always wanted to visit is Rome. And we know how to do moving titles or maybe even make that uh, larger if we wanted to, or certainly we could do that and say done. So we go to the beginning. There's my kind of rolling credit intro to Rome. I'm looking down here, guys, and there's a big space between that title and my first image. So I'm going to start moving things over and moving things over and then maybe move my caption over. And, you know, this is the kind of stuff you don't have to watch me do it here. I mean, these are kind of things you've learned how to do in the past few activities, but kind of slide everything up, neaten it up. And that should be pretty good. Of course, we want a title at the end. Let's see, see all. And we can put that at the end. Thanks for watching. Rome is awesome. And that would be my ending title. We also know how to do uh, the audio. We maybe even could find some. I would need to find some kind of music down here. And I probably don't even have to fade it too much. One more thing that I want you to do is you're going to remember, let's see, where do I go to my uploads here?
Remember when we recorded with the webcam up here earlier in our earlier activity? What we're going to do now is just record our voices. And I want you to talk a little bit about this place you've always wanted to visit. It's a function called Narrate. So if I click on Narrate, it checks to make sure you're using the right mic. And when I hit record down here, it's going to record my voice. I want you to do about 15 to 30 seconds worth of narration. You would have to be able to hear your voice and we'll have to turn down the music so the music's not louder than your voice. So I'm going to click record here. It counts me down. Three, two, one. A place that I have always wanted to visit is Rome. I think Rome is cool because it is the capital of Italy and because it is the home of the Roman Empire, which existed thousands of years ago, and a lot of their architecture is still there. Um, they're well known for their food, and again, the, the Vatican is there, the Sistine Chapel, the Colosseum, all these cool things, and I think it would be really cool to go to Italy and visit Rome, uh, especially since I uh, am Italian. Uh, so that would be uh, cool because it's kind of part of my heritage. All right, so I did 39 seconds instead. Now, what I can do over here is after I narrate, I can listen to it and uh, maybe you started laughing or it just sounds awkward and you want to do it again. You can click this record again button and you can do it as many times as you need to. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to click on this save button and it creates a new line. It, it's called voiceover down here, uh, which is another name for narrate. I don't know why they didn't just call it narrate because that's sort of what it's, uh, you know, <laughs> what you're doing. But I'm gonna move this over here, slide it down. And with my music here, what I'm gonna do, remember this audio line here? I'm going to bring my audio line down while I'm narrating. Oops. And then bring it back up when I'm done narrating. So this blue line here represents the loudness of the music in the background. And it's going to be a lot less loud while I'm talking so that you can hear it. You still might hear a little bit of music in the background. That's okay. I'm fine with that. And then let's see if we click here. Hang on. I got to be in this track and then split. Oh, come on. Why are you not doing that? There we go. Now I can split that, get rid of this extra stuff here. Kind of stuck behind my head. There's the end of my project. There's the beginning of my project. So a place I have always wanted to visit is Rome. I can hear the music right now. Of course, I'm wearing headphones, so you might not hear it in this example. The music goes down. I can hear my voice talking. And... My narration is here. Here's my pictures, a moving picture of the Colosseum. I've got my fact up here. That's a still picture, of course. That's a moving picture, I guess. Not moving very much, but it's doing it. Let's see. Ooh, yep, there's another still picture. Now that's interesting. This guy here has volume. I want to bring that down because it's going to mess up my recording if I hear the Trevi Fountain uh, water uh, kind of making noise there. Turn it that way down. By the way, this whole video, folks, about a minute and 30 seconds. Not that long. So I had a couple of captions, four still pictures, four videos, and then some ending titles. I think we're pretty good here. The main skills I wanted you to demonstrate, the adding the narration and having the captions overlaid on the top. One thing I like to do is make sure that my music is even the end and that way you'll always see the end of the title there sweet so that didn't take me too long i know it might take you a little bit longer because you're not a teacher but those are the skills i want you to show adding the captions here at the top and bottom uh, at the top 
at least two facts about the place you've always wanted to visit. And once again, you got to pick some place that we video actually has images and videos for, and then arrange them neatly, add some background music, fade it down and put some narration in there. It doesn't have to be too long, at least 15 seconds, but it doesn't have to be for the whole minute and 30 either. You might run out of stuff to say. All right. So work on this place I've always wanted to visit project. And when you're done, show your teacher before you hit the export button. Good luck.